So do you keep attracting messed up, damaged women? If you do, this video is definitely for you. Psychologists have found that your mother may be still influencing your dating life. Welcome to Just the Tip. So a while back when I was still doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, I had a client, we'll call him Smith. Smith had a terrible relationship with his mother. When he was young, she would just constantly criticize him and nothing he ever did was good enough. Even if he got an A, he didn't even get praise. Now he's in his 30s and he thought that maybe something would change, but he's still not getting along with his mom. They used to speak on the phone every week, but then she got a new boyfriend and her calls got fewer and farther between. Essentially, she was using him for company and attention until she found it elsewhere. Does this sound familiar? If it does, then you're not alone because Smith found that he was having the same kinds of relationships with the women he would get involved with. Every woman he dated would boss him around and moan and complain. They'd nag him and they'd never show consideration for his feelings. He could never make any woman happy. And the worst part, he thought it was his fault. So he beat himself down thinking that he was never gonna be good enough for any woman. But when we analyzed his situation with his mom, and his childhood with his mom, he soon realized what was happening. He was attracting women who were just like his mother. This is all too common. We tend to be attracted to that which feels familiar. And usually we're attracted to the parent or caregiver we had as a child that we needed love from or care and attention from, but lacked it from. Now this may sound a little weird to some people, but it actually makes perfect sense because our relationship with our parents or our primary caregivers when we were young are our example of what a relationship is supposed to be, both between our parents or caregivers if they were together or if they're not, and with our parents or caregivers. So if you're used to being criticized or mistreated, or to putting other people's needs above your own and made to feel like you were never good enough, then to you, this is normal. This feels familiar. You don't know any different. This is why if you had a mother who was like this, then on a subconscious level, that's what you're attracted to because it's what you think you deserve. Our parents, our primary caregivers are the people who teach us what love is. But if they don't know how to express love in a truly loving way, then our wires get mixed up. And then we get caught in the cycle looking for love in all the wrong places. But you can get out of it. You can rewire your brain to find a good woman, a good woman for you. No one's perfect. We all have flaws. We all have character flaws. But there's going to be someone who has the writer flaws for you, who will actually still treat you with love, kindness, respect, and the attention you truly deserve. A woman who will appreciate you for being you. Someone who will think you are good enough and who will praise, support, and encourage you instead of always beating you down to make them feel better. So I invite you to start thinking about the women you've been attracted to in the past and how they are alike to your mother, maybe, maybe it was your father, to the primary caregiver or parent you had as a child who you felt lack from. And if your father wasn't there at all, maybe you're going for women who completely abandon you or who aren't available at all. If you're going for women who treat you poorly, maybe you didn't have a very good relationship with your mom and she treated you poorly. So the first step to change is awareness. So I invite you to evaluate some of the qualities of the women you've gone for in the past and make a determination. You are gonna watch for those red flags in the future because you do deserve better. And if you want help to figure out what those traits are that you're definitely going to avoid, that you tend to keep going for, then I invite you to check out my Wake Up To Love program. It will help you figure out the things you keep going for that aren't good for you and how to substitute those traits for things that you actually really need, how to look for them, how to feel deserving of them. It's a lot of work. My program 
is not easy. I'll tell you that right up front. It's not for anyone who just wants a one night hookup. This is for men who want long-term happy relationship with someone who you deserve and who deserves you, your best you, her best her. So if you're up for that, ready for a challenge, nothing changes if nothing changes, might as well check it out. Thanks for being here. God bless. Thank you.